सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डू मैशिंग यूजिंग ए प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल सो गो टू योर प्रोजेक्ट फोल्डर एंड ओपन अप ए फाइल सो ओपन अप दिस फाइल क्लिप डॉट एस टी पी फाइल वी कैन ड्रैक दिस एंड क्लिक एज ओपन एज ए न्यू फाइल एंड डिस्कार्ड इट ओके सो इन दिस फाइल हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज बेसिकली ए क्लिप एंड इन दिस क्लिप यू कैन सी दिस अ होल हेयर सिमिलरली वी है सम होल हेयर and we have to mesh it so first let's understand its geometry in this case you can see we have some small fillets we have hole which is closer to the fillets and here most of the surface is planar surface so one thing to notice here is in this example we are not considering any element quality criteria currently we are just currently we are just learning how to start the meshing how to do basic meshing in the later example we will also understand how to follow a certain element quality criteria and how to improve the element quality so whenever you start meshing of such type of component in that case whenever we have any hole we need to create washer around that hole so if you take a look at onto this hole here and let's say i will calculate its diameter so go to this dimension from this point up to this opposite point so this is 6.42 so let's say we are going to take washer of value let's say dy3 so go to topo and go to zone cut and here is like loop option select this circle and here i'm going to create a washer of value dy3 so this is 2.1 and okay okay once again and okay one thing you will notice here is that that this uh, fillet that this circle is going inside the fillet so we have to remove this extra lines because we have to capture fillets properly similarly we also have hole here we also have to find out the diameter and create a washer so if you see such type of geometry you have sometimes you might seem that it is not a circle properly but it is just a graphic problem it is a circle so let's find out the diameter here you can see points are not visible properly for that first you need to go to this mesh module then go to measure from this point to this point 2.1 so dy3 so go to again zone cut so this value will be closer to like 0.66 let's say and all four holes are of same value so select these holes one by one like this and this hole and this hole and okay okay again okay after that whenever you start the meshing of a component you have to select the element size because software take some default value of element size to select the element size you need to go to this mesh module and then you need to go to length option zoom out hold down the left click and drag the mouse then hit the roller by default the element length is 20 we need in this example this value 1 click okay now close if you zoom in here you can see the grid points are much closer okay now we need to remove this extra line from the fillets so zoom in here and go to join click on this this and this one this one this one this one similarly we need to remove lines from here this one this one this one this one this one this and here okay also remove these two lines okay so lines are removed now so now we can start the meshing so let's say i will start the meshing of this complete part at once what will happen if you go to this mesh generation here make sure mixed is selected go to best and let's say i will click on visible so by default software will create the mesh of complete part at once here you can see complete part is meshed the planar surfaces are meshed with a good mesh flow but when you take a look at the complicated area here you will see that 
mesh flow is not good similarly here mesh flow is not good okay so that is why it is not recommended to do meshing at once okay so here i will go to erase and go to visible okay so so whenever you start meshing of such type of component you always start the area which is more complicated okay for example in this case you can see this whole area or this area related to this hole is complicated while planar surface are simple surface you can mesh them easily so let's say i'm going to start with this hole because it is touching the fillets okay again let's say i will start the meshing from here if you go to this mesh best select if i select this circle at once hit the roller you can see there are lots of trias and the mesh flow is not good with respect to this hole so in this case again we have to split it again so here go to erase and visible so what we can do is we can split with respect to this point so go to let's say i will go to project cut from this to this line similarly from okay zoom out a little bit and escape from the command and here uh, i will go to project cut from this point to this line and press escape then again go to command not here i will go to project cut from this point to this line then again we need to repeat the command so from this point to this line so with this we have created a split now we can mesh it easily so go to best select let's say i will select this left area click on this right now again there are lots of trias so i will go to number option on the left side you can see number is showing 9 on the right side it is showing 6 so we have to change number of element here or these are number of nodes basically so we take usually a average value average of 9 and 6 so let's say i will take value 8 make it 8 here on the right side on the left side make 8 so you can see proper quads are generated similarly i will do a mesh on to this right area so again here i want let's say this is 8 and make right click here 8 on to this area once again i will click on select this area and this area hit the roller so let's zoom in here uh, i will go to number so let's make it 3 make it 3 and make it 6 <laughs> so you can see two trias these are opposite trias so now press escape so these two trias will cancel each other so in this case what option we use is uh, one option is that we can create a cut here you go to cut from this point up to this line now go to number make two here now you can see on the left side it is 2 2 on the this side this is 3 3 so we can use the map command so go to map here in the mesh map so we have existing mesh so go to regenerate select this and hit the roller you can see proper quads are generated similarly here and like this now let's go to this bottom area i will go to number uh, again 3 3 and 6 here again we have same situation but here we are going to use some other method so let's say i will use this element uh, split method go to split option and we have to split these two quads basically so we can split it with edges so i will split it from here let's say click here now this quad is split it into these trias again i will split also make a split here so that this tria goes into left side similarly this tria i want go into the right side so click on this okay now hit the roller again and here you can see you can combine these two trias to make a quad but again here these two trias are opposite trias here in this case what we can do is we can use the swap option click on swap click on this edge of the tria so with this swap option this tria will go other side now we can combine them so go to join 
click on this click on this so in this way you can see we have properly created a mesh so now we are going to continue this in the next lecture to do the meshing of this complete area so i'm going to save this file go to file save as let's say 22 version so this is my clip file so let's say this is clip mesh underscore one so you can use this file for your reference